Warning, this game contains content that might not be suitable for most audiences. Viewer's discretion is advised. Quick elastic, make ironing easy. No sticking, no scorching, your iron fairly glides. Do all your starching this wonderful new way. Things look and feel like new, fresh and fragrant. They wash easily. For easy starching, for beautiful ironing, ask your grocer for quick elastic starch. Large package, 10 cents. And welcome back to Clyde Time Live! Yeah, Mr. Beautiful Faces! Ha ha ha! I have a very special guest tonight. He has to be my most favorite person in the world right now. Saying that I'm a huge fan is a big understatement. Ha <laughs> ha! But enough about me. Why don't we let our guest introduce himself? My name is... Fe Fennel! I'm an infamous... Controversial. I'm a, a punk rock idol. That's about it. I've told you my story before, Clyde. Yeah, I'm not interested in sharing my 21 chapter biography again. The less you know about me, the better, honestly. Mysterious. Ah, really, if you're into my music, you, you should have a good read on me. Yeah, I recommend listening to my most recent album, Corkscrewed. There's a reason why only two songs from it can be played on TV and radio. Corkscrewed is a delicacy. A, a delicacy. Delicacy? What do you mean by that? It's a good album. It's like a steak tartare. It's raw. That's one way to put it. Yeah, you know, not everyone appreciates your work like I do. And I always admire how calm, cool, and collected you are. Ew, gross! Stop kissing my butt! I'm not. I'm being totally honest. But I do have a question for you. How do you put up with all your detractors? It's not that hot. People say mean things about you, so what? Get over it. If you talk smack about me, I'll crush you in my boots. God, those are some hella boots. I love seeing my haters cry. It's a fun hobby. It gets me going. It motivates me. So keep talking about me. I love drama. Aren't you an edgy boy? Don't patronize me. I'm not. Learn to take a compliment. I'm not attacking you. I respect you a lot, Fennel. Uh-huh. You better. Yeah, I'm just saying. We all know deep down Fennel's a softie. I'm not a softie! But I still wouldn't be surprised he was involved in some really scary things. This recent album is all about the occult and devil worship, after all. Hey, I could say the same thing about you. Are you kidding me? I'm not soft. Metaphorically, physically, that's a whole nother story. I spend most of my days glued to this chair. Man, this game is charming as hell. Not that, the other thing. Oh, the occult. No one actually believes you're into that, right, folks? Why would they applaud at that? Unless, are you? Did you just confirm the rumors live on air? What are you talking about, Clyde? Oh no, am I being interviewed now? Don't take my job away. <laughs> yeah, I said, don't take my job away. <laughs> laugh for me. Yeah, you out there in the audience, freaking laugh for me. My job, he's gonna take it away. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Not every joke can be a winner after all. I'm sure you can relate. You can't win everyone over. If it makes you feel better. I'm proud, I'm a proud fanal. That was honestly so bad. I mean, what's not to like about you? You're a punk rock star. You get to travel the world, hook up with beautiful women. I bet you're super rich too. You even have more fans in this crowd than I do. My god. Wait, who's that? You're so lucky. I didn't get here because of luck or whatever. Worked my butt off. I had to drop out of school and help my mom sell Tupperwares all over Waipahu. And I only got to LA because we sold enough of that plastic junk to get here. Honestly, if it wasn't for my mom being so supportive up there. Aw, oh, and you have a good relationship with your mommy. Good for you, Mr. Perfect. 
Hey, I'm jealous. But be honest with me, Fennel. I'm being honest. Now, I want you to be really honest with me. We would have a lot more celebrities if everyone had a wholesome story like yours. So tell me. And don't be shy or coy about it. How much does a pretty soul like yours cost? You're calling me a sellout? You know what I mean. How much did it cost when you sold it to Timeless Records? Zero dollars, because I'm not for sale. Where did you even hear that from? I've just been hearing bizarre stories about your label. I imagine that buying your soul back is rather expensive. And I'm not just talking about money. Yeah, that sounds stupid. None of that is true. Ah, oh, forgive me. I mean no harm. I was only looking out for you. I should believe in silly rumors. Enough about me. I want to talk about Blank's birthday party. What? A birthday party where Blank was poisoned and in a coma for a week? Blank settled for how much again? Oh. That. I don't know what you're talking about. I think. I think both need to stop reading tabloids. It's not healthy. Hey, ugly. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I want to ask you some weird questions too, Clyde. Tell me about the scary things you did. How much was the settlement? Was it one million? Or was it too high for you? Was it lower or higher? Had to be lower. You're a greedy pig. Why did you poison blank? Fennel? You're so funny! I'm more interested in hearing about your music, though. What's the name of the song you're performing for us today? I'm so excited, I forgot. Is it the one about worms? I hope it's the ones with worms in it. Bah! Yeah, it's the one about maggots, not worms. Oh, this is hot. Oh! Damn! It's a good track, though. I like it. Yo! Just great and masked! Just great and masked! The day after that interview, a young woman was found dead in a park 25 miles away from Clyde's Bourbon studio. I want to send my condolences to the victim's family. You'll forever be in my thoughts and prayers. There's something I need to discuss before diving into tonight's dialogue. My staff informed me about a rumor concerning me and a friend of the show. It's not the time to cast judgment or point fingers. Just because I had Fennel on last night doesn't mean that he did it, and neither did I. Sure, you could argue that Fennel could have allegedly inspired it. The investigations say it appears that the perp was trying to attempt a ritualistic act. And Fennel's recent album was about that. And he performed a song about Say It album last night. And he's involved in a shady contract, I think. But come on. These kind of th rumors will only hurt the victim's family. It gets in the way of finding the truth. I'm not here to engage in wild conspiracy theories. And if Fennel's such a concern, ask him about it, not me. Ugh. Clyde, you spiteful. I hate to give him credit, but he did leave me out of it at first. Thank you for sharing your daughter's story with us, Mrs. Lynn. She sounds like a lovely woman with a beautiful soul. Thank you, Mr. Clydesdale. Of course. I'll make sure that the monster gets caught too. You deserve answers and a sound peace of mind. Then a week later, another woman was found dead in the same park. She was found with the same markings carved in her as Viola Lynn. You think the deaths could be related? Yes, I believe so. Shouldn't the cops investigate if, if there's any connection, Argent? Uh, Detective Brunnen, obviously. From my understanding, the department in and around LA are working on it. That's as far as I can comment on that. I'm not here to give my opinion. That's fair. But can I ask for yours? No, of course. Do you believe the two murders are connected? Huh. In my opinion. It's not about freedom of expression or freedom of speech. It's about protecting our people. We both know something's wrong with Fennel. I agree that Fennel can be a little bit out there. But isn't censoring him going too far? There's no definitive proof that the killer enjoys his music. It's just a theory. A theory you came up with, idiot! He doesn't have a soul, Clyde. The harlot gave it away. Allegedly, he gave it away. Yeah, but... 
that's neither here nor there. And I... And don't call him a har... I'm starting to suspect you don't have a soul either. Why are you defending him? No, no, it's not like that. I'm just trying to be unbiased here. I'm concerned about him and our city. Huh. You Hollywood weirdos do love to stick together. No, please, don't rope me into that. I'm just an empath. Senator, as I was saying. I understand my fondness towards Fettel gives me bias. But I have not allowed that to affect my reporting. Being a fan gives me the ability to see the nuances in his words and actions. However, your concerns and criticisms are valid. From this point forward, I will try harder to be more impartial. Thank you. The media loves having someone, anyone to blame. And I'm a very easy target for their conspiracy theories. They're convincing. Sometimes I buy into them too. Who wouldn't, one, who wouldn't with such great headlines like Final Steel with the Devil Backfires? Maybe my music is too dangerous. I could always water down my aesthetic. Conform. Or you could stop putting the blame on me. You know what happened when I tried to meet with Viola's mother? She turned me down. She scared a media circus I could bring to her family. Uh, I see. We do need to teach these girls about the dangers of hitchhiking. Poor Viola was a victim. Ah! Uh, Poor Viola was a victim of it, after all. My daughter's in high school. I worry about her and her friend's safety every day. One of her friends is a fan of yours, and your music rewired her brain. Yeah? She dyed her hair and started dressing provocatively. She hates her parents, and she always seems sad now. My daughter wouldn't conform to her lifestyle, so her friends refused to speak to her. They were saying Viola was a fan of yours, too. Where are you going with this? It's not absurd to conclude that you're indirectly to blame for the mass mur- JUST FOR HAVING FANS?! You should feel ashamed of yourself for thinking otherwise, Fennel. I... I do have to wonder, though. <sighs> this may be a stretch. Did Clyde set this up? Was he the killer? He killed someone. So he can blame me for inspiring the murders. And now everyone trusts him to cover this murder case in good faith. Am I going crazy? I'm fully convinced that a killer is allegedly a fan of Fennel. What does Fennel want? World domination? I never accused Fennel of committing any murders. All I said was that he's capable of doing it, allegedly. And if he's offended by my coverage, he's free to come back onto my show. I think he's innocent, don't you? I hate Clyde. So much, idiot. Ah! It's like he wants me to jump on top of my vet to confess the role that I'm an accessory to murder. And I'm not doing that. I'm innocent. I don't need to prove anything. That's when. That's why when I go back on Clyde's show, I'll make that as clear as possible. But everything is said and done. After we shake hands and make up, we'll go backstage. And I'll spit on him, kick his teeth in, crush his insides! Soon, I'll make him pay. I'll make him regret every bad thing he's ever said about me. He'll cry and beg me for forgiveness. Hell, he might even quit. In less than ten days, I'll be the one to bring upon his downfall. Huh. October 25th, 1979. Squeak. Please, no. Squeak, squeak. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get up. Bailey, tell Spot to leave me alone. Spot, do you mind? Squeak. What the way is Spot squeaking? Let go of me. You're the worst manager ever. The worst manager in the world. The universe. You suck, Spot. Hey, be nice! Whatever. You still want me to do your makeup? Yeah, I'm not letting one of Clyde's guys do it. I can already imagine the cry on Fennel's pimples form a pentagram. And I think he hired a PI to dig up a copy of my contract too. What do you think that? I don't know, my lawyer said someone was digging in his trash. Maybe I'm being too cautious. Squeak! Ugh, I'm not going to trust Clyde's spot. He can go sit on it for all I care. 
Don't say that. Being rude doesn't help anyone. Bailey, I'm not here to play nice or be his friend. We've been over this. If you were in my boots, what would you do to someone like Clyde? Actually, I, uh, crocheted him a fat hat and a sweater. What? Since when? I've been working on this present for a couple weeks now. You never noticed? I just didn't know you were making it for Clyde of all people. That's all. Sorry. It's not a big deal. I know you have a lot on your mind. I hope he likes my present, though. We're so hired on it. Maybe he'll jumpstart my clothing line if he likes it enough. Ugh. Or you could sell your clothing at my merch table. Thanks, but I don't know if your fans will like my style. I'm Kish Vakara. They're hot and moody. My fans aren't shallow. I know, but I also don't want to get caught up in your loans. Ah, please don't take that the wrong way. One of us needs to maintain a high credit score. That was a very kind offer. Thank you. Yeah. Your turn, Spot. What would you do to Clyde if you were in my boots? Squeak, 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 squeak. Why do I need to apologize to him? Squeak! Spot has a point. Is the right thing to do. Well, well, this, this client legitimately is talking squeaks. Yeah. Yeah. Don't defend Clyde. To be fair, I think he should apologize to you too. Huh. Sigh. Spot, can you turn on the radio? Squeak, squeak! If he tries anything weird, I'm going to curb stomp him. Oh dear, please don't do that. I'll stab him too. Don't! What if? Happy top of the hour! <laughs> Out of all the stations Spot had to turn to. We return with breaking news! Burbank Police Department has now released a potential suspect in a highway hijacker case. That's the name he's going with now. Eh, yeah, I think we should call this freak a SOB. It has a nice ring to it. The potential suspect was dropped due to a lack of evidence and conflict of information. Can't you charge a moron with something until you find more evidence? Plant drugs, overdue parking ticket? Ugh! If you have information that could lead to the arrest, please contact the Burbank Sheriff's Office at 818-555. Ugh! told my sons to record the Clyde Clydesdale show tonight. He's supposed to have fennel on. You know, the moron who told the other moron to go out and kill people? That fennel. Fennel Hashimama. Something like that. It's Higashimama! Duh! I never told pe anyone to kill people! Hi, right, Clyde, if you're listening. And I know you are, you vain son of a gun. Come on, my radio show. I love you. Will you give this fennel kid a piece of your mind? Time to take off already. We're tired of him. You can always pay him to go away with a pack of diamond cigarettes. Today's sponsor. He does that with my name, too. How's this guy still on air? He's terrible. It's best to ignore him. There's no point in engaging with someone like that. How can you say that when you're giving a present to Clyde, the biggest, rottenest butthole on Earth? Gross! It's true. He's a rancid butthole, and he has a rancid butthole, too. I should know. I, I've, I've seen it. I've diddled with it. So I'm talking about his backside like that. You mean his... No! It's the truth, Bailey. He's like every other amoral sh- He's different, okay? If you say so. Sorry for getting snappy earlier. It's no big deal. Let's just focus on being positive and putting on your foundation, okay? Yeah, right. My makeup. I think I'm almost out of my foundation. If we are, I can mix some of it with my moisturizer. I'll stretch it out. That's an old trick I learned from my mom. Oi, there's a convenience store by the studio. I saw it on our way here. The one next to the donut shop? Yeah, that's the one. The cute donut shop. When we passed it, I saw an advertisement for the fall menu. And on it was pumpkin spice fried donut, glaze of cinnamon, and the insides are filled with cream cheese. Wow, that sounds like a lot of sugar. You can get a plain glaze or you can just get a bagel. You sell bagels at a donut shop? A bagel is basically a donut. If you put frosting on top of a bagel, it becomes a donut. You can also turn a donut into a bagel if you slice it in half and spread frosting or icing on the insides. That only works for the ones without filling already in it, but... Eh, that doesn't stop me from doing it. I can show you how. That's wonderful. I would love to try that out. Cool. Hey Spot, do you mind starting up the van? Squeak! I'm not stalling! I'm hungry. If we go now, we'll still have time to prepare for the show. 
Squeak! Can we at least go on to eat after this? This cute diner across from the cute donut shop. Squeak! Really? We can go? Squeak! You'll even pay for it! Squeak, squeak! <laughs> Hell yeah! I'll be on my base behavior tonight. My last manager never bought me anything. You're in very good company. When we work together, it's so much better. Oh yay! The mask moisturizer trick worked! Don't press too hard, you're gonna pop a pimple. I won't. Have you put any more thought into your next album yet? For my next era, I'm going to be a Parisian dandy going through his rebellious phase. And he's really into German expressionism. He's like a hotter, moodier Conrad Vane. That's very specific. I know, but my team and label need to know everything. I'm supposed to get a huge increase in my budget if I can get the public on my side again. Ah, as long as it's not another loan. Anyway. Bailey, how you walk in with me? I'm staying put for now. I still need to wrap Clyde's present. You're actually serious about that? I can crochet you something too. You don't have to, it's cool. Thank you for helping me get ready though. Ah, I was ready to help. Let's meet up in the green room later, okay? Sure. You have everything? Wallet, guitar, makeup? It's in my purse. But let me double check the cabinets first. What did you leave in there? I don't know, maybe a cookie or something? Hey, yo! We don't leave snacks down there. Oh yeah. Maybe I can find a vending machine inside the studio. Fennel, over here! Over here, Fennel! Ugh. Fennel, Fennel, Fennel! Oh, Fennel! You have any words for the victim's families? Can you spit acid? Can you breathe fire? Can you summon a demon? A big demon! Is there too much violence in the media? But your mother is real proud of you, you sicko! Yeah, get out of my shot! Do you know who the killer is? No, but I wish I did so he could kill me right now. Hey, Fennel! My daughter really loves your music. Can you make kid-friendly versions of your songs? I may have that. <laughs> Oh my god, I love the manager! Oh, slam! Squeak! No, it wasn't a good question. It was a stupid, bad faith question. Squeak! Don't say that, I'm not a spoiled brat. I just don't like talking to ugly people. Ugly people make me sick. Squeak! I don't care if they're trying to do their jobs, they're harassing me, and they don't deserve my time or presence. Now, if they were fans, I wouldn't mind talking to them. Squeak. Yeah, yeah, be on my best behavior and get blinded by cameras and hounded down by stupid questions. When do I get what I want? Or are you gonna strangle me with my umbilical cord until I pass out and die? Squeak. I don't care if it's insensitive. Look over there. Fans! People actually respect and care for me. We gotta say hi. Squeak, squeak! Why couldn't I say hi? Squeak, squeak! Back off. Urgh. What's wrong with saying hi? You don't have to report me to my record label for misbehaving. I didn't do anything yet. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Look! It's Fennel! Spot. Squeak. Spot. It's Fennel! Uh, that, that's me. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I want to be nice. Uh, then, then again, Spot might have a point. Oh, no. Uh, that's me. Who else could it be? How did you two get back here? Uh, yeah! <laughs> oh no, but that is she okay? We got lost. We're looking for a friend, and then we got lost. We're looking for a friend. That wasn't planned. I don't believe that. No, it's it's true. I don't care. If it was up to me, I would let everyone in for free. Oh, neat. It's so unfair that they're charging so much for tickets. They were super cheap last time. Of course, stupid Clyde would raise the price. You don't even want to see Clyde. He's... He isn't even funny. He's boring. Boring! He sucks. We hate him. We hate him so much. He's kind of cute though, right? Dude, stop. He's not cute. No, but like... Think about it. He's cute. He's okay looking. I don't know. I think it's a smile. Oh my god. Yeah, and his dimples. 
He has dimples? Stop it! Ugh, Clyde's fugly. I wouldn't say that, but yeah. Oh, but Fennel, if you think he's ugly, then why are you here? I didn't have much of a choice. Why? I have important business to take care of. Why? We'll see what I mean today. Fennel's trying to dismantle the system. It takes time. That too, but... You're probably aware of the drama between me and Clyde. He's allowed to slander me and get away with it because it's rumors, allegedly. But as soon as I bring up something and that he actually did, he loses his mind. <gasps> Didn't he kill someone? No, he attempted to, though, and it was over money. How do you know? Were you there? Did you see it happen? What happened? I... I already said too much. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone what you said. I never believed the things he said about you, by the way. You would never sign a phony contract. Nope. Nope. Thanks for believing in me. Oh, oh, you should put a hex on Clyde. Then he'll stop saying mean things about you. What? She believes he can do magic. Magic? Where are you getting this from? It was in your interview in Punk Cuisine. How can you forget? You were undercover and everything. Uh... I, do I don't have Punk Cuisine issue 32 on me, so... You'll have to take my word for it. Okay. On page 5, you said, and I quote... I don't know, what do you think? Why are you asking me this? Unquote. That explains it all! <laughs> Has Fennel just been like feeding into fan theories? Is that, is that what I'm hearing here? It doesn't. I can't do magic. Aw. Hexing Clive would make my life a lot easier though. <laughs> you two were silly. Hey, about your other friend. Are they actually real or did you make them up? She's super real and she's in line. She actually bought a ticket. You aren't scared of getting caught? If we do, we'll see back in. I'm a little scared. How do I get into trouble? Nobody wants that. I can have Spa take you to the entrance if you need to go back. Oh my gosh, what if like, oh! Is there a way for us to get free tickets? We don't even want backstage tickets. You can put us in back row. Uh, free please with cherry on top. Squeak. Ew! Don't talk about us that way! Yeah, don't talk about us that way! Yuck! Spot, if you say that again, you're getting put down. <laughs> wait, 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 what is Spot? I'll snap your ulna in half! Excuse my manager, there's no such thing as free tickets. I'm sorry, but there's anything else you want. I promised a friend that we would get your autograph. Our scrap- Oh, that's so cute! Can you sign this verse, please? Uh... Squeak! I can't even sign it. Squeak, squeak! What? Well, this is so expensive! Do we really have to pay for your autograph? Shoot, I think my credit card's maxed out. Oh, uh, I told you not to get me anything for my birthday! It's too late, I already got you your gift. And I love that you did, but you really shouldn't have. Squeak! Why would I get in trouble for signing a book? Squeak! What do you mean by that? If I gave my autograph out to everyone, it wouldn't be worth anything anymore. You think we're gonna sell it? My record label does. They control everything I do. They don't think I have a mind of my own. We're good people. We will never sell it or do anything like that. I know, but... Can't you sign it just for us, pretty please? I... I, I wanna be nice! I'll make an exception! Okay, but only because you asked nicely. Brr! Ignore him, he's a killjoy. What are your names? I'm Princess Harlow. Ren Nevermore. Nevermore. That's my guitar's name, the red one. I know! Are any of your instruments named Princess or Harlow? I have an acoustic guitar named Hemingway. That's close enough. Oh wow, like Ernest Hemingway? You like poetry too. Writing lyrics is like poetry, right? Yeah! I guess I'm into it then. What's the name of your third friend, by the way? Valentine Hart. She's super cool. Cool. Thanks. No problem. Squeak, 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 squeak! Here's a book. Thanks! Squeak! Spot, go away. Wow, Valentine's gonna love this. Thank you, Fennel. Just gotta give you a big kiss, Ren. And say it out loud, that's embarrassing. Die! Die, I'm all for it, though. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Nothing. But, uh, yeah, I hope uh, to see all three of you at the show. Really think we'll make it in? You've made it this far, I don't see why not. Wow, thank you! You really made my day. Yay! You made my day too. Thanks. I'm happy to hear that.
Break a leg out there. And an Ulna! I'm lucky to have such loving and accepting fans. Squeak! Squeak! Cut me some slack. You're seriously gonna tattle on me for being nice? Squeak! They're good kids. They don't mean any harm. Hmm. I just wish they wouldn't believe those dumb rumors about me. I can't do magic. Unless you count screaming your lungs out. Now that's magic. Squeak! I don't know. I was thinking about why I'm having these problems. I need to get a pat. I need to get a pair of shoes for the for the van. If they're tiny enough, we can put them on top of the dashboard. It'll help ward off the bad vibes, but keep in the good ones. I can ask my mom to buy me some. Maybe I could replace you with Shisa dogs once my contract is over. <laughs> Whimper. It was a joke. Squeak, squeak. What? Squeak. Who? Squeak. Where? Squeak. Ah! Speak of the devil. Comrade Fennel, spot! Yo, why are you bleeding? How's it going? Squeak! So don't I! You could say I'm doing better than great. You could say it, I feel like I'm the top of the world! I'm high as a guy! Metaphorically speak. I don't think that's metaphorically. My god, that was good. Pick her up her. Oh, God. And how are you, Fennel? Fennel? Squeak! Oh, no, are you getting a sore throat? Is that why you missed my segment uh, producer's phone calls? She couldn't even get in touch with your team. First of all, she even got a chance to go over tonight's show with you. Squeak! When, when did I get a sore throat? Tell him you missed his calls because you were sick, and I believe that's Japanese. I'm not sick though. I'm embarrassed that you missed his calls. It gives a poor impression of timeless records. That's not my fault. It is. Learn to accept responsibility. No, uh, my team answers the phone. Where were they? I don't want to talk to him. You wasted your only free chance tonight by uh, talking to those leeches earlier. Keep up the attitude and you lose your free dinner. What? I did my, my dinner! Are you serious? Squeak! Ah, you suck. <coughs> yeah, I'm getting a sore throat. <coughs> ah, it's okay to be sick. Happens to the best of us. Personally, I love being sick. I have a special someone who nurses me back to health whenever I'm feeling under the weather. Ew. It's sexy. Ah, no, 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 no. Ew, I'll turn our conversation down. <laughs> but I hope you feel better. I don't like hearing that a friend of the show is sick. Aren't you performing tonight, too? Yeah. I'm sure you'll kick butt like you always do. And of course, there's another- There's other important matters we need to address. Like you accusing me of being an occultist? Being a occultist is cool. It's non-conforming. It's punk. It's a compliment, no? It's not what you or your audience thinks. Look, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I can't control my millions of viewers. That's why I invited you on here. Whatever rumors you need to dispel, you can do it tonight. It's too late. The damage is already done. It doesn't have to be like that, Fennel. I just hate that this is my responsibility for getting myself out of your BS. Fennel, the universe doesn't center around you, so relax. It'll be okay. All I want is to have a good time. Squeak? Spot, I want you to have a good time too. I love you. Squeak! Yes, I love you so very much. Squeak, squeak! I'm not cute, you're cute! <laughs> Fennel is so done! Squeak! Squeak, squeak! I'm leaving. <laughs> but that spot, why? Yeah, stay put, Fennel. I want you to have a good time too. Since you were too sick to talk into my segment producer, do you want to practice right now? Uh, practice right now for what? Practice for the show, duh. I want to try something out with you. Can I show you what the games I came up with? How long is this game going to take? Not too long, I promise. Have you ever played three card Monte? I don't think so. That's fine, I'll give you a refresher. I have three cards. A custom Darcy Ferrars, a Pablo Sanchez, and a Bobson Ducksnut. I'll show Bobson, then I'll flip him over, shuffle him and the other cards around. Your goal is to guess which one is Bobson. If you get it right, you'll get to keep the card and I'll give you a good boy point. Good boy point? Uh-huh. 
Do you understand the rules? I get it. Goody, I'm so excited to try this out with you. Are you ready? Sure, I guess. Try to sound excited. Woo! All right. What? I'm gonna shuffle the card, so watch closely, okay? Okay, that's a bumps and dud nuts. Okay, here we go. Yeah, whatever. What? Here? Is that the middle? Wait, what? Hey, what? Uh, ah, God damn it! Uh, I'm going to assume it's the starting card. Okay, pick a card, pick a card! Let's see, did you win or lose? Did you get it right? What do you think? Can you flip it over already? Jeez, loosen up a little. Yes, I did it! Frick! Oh, God! Ah! You did get it right! Good job, kiddo! Bob said it's all yours. Are you sure you don't want this? Ah, what you to have him. You did win him, after all. I have another Bobson at home. Who knows? He might even bring you good luck tonight. Thanks for trying out my game. Maybe we can play another round later. I don't want to. Scared of losing the title of three-card baseball Monty King? No. <laughs> Clyde! Huh? Oh. Hello! I'm gonna be here forever. The riders need to go over tonight's episode with you. Really? Again? I know. I thought we already went over our last minute revisions. I know, I'm getting tired of these meetings too. Something happened while I was talking with Fennel. Yes. Oh, what happened? What happened? You know good and well, I can't discuss that here. Boring. Hey, we should do something fun later. Like what? I don't know, just me and you, together. Hello? It's Clyde! It's Clyde, like, um, having an affair with his producer? Be professional. It's hard when you're around. There's a time and place. I'll dial it back then. I'm taking it from an 11 to a 7. How's that? 6. Take it all the way down to a spicy 6. No, nope, that's too much. How about flirty 4? Is that better? Yeah, I like 4 too. 4 it is. <clears throat> mm. Yes. Hi. Hey. Thank you for not picking up any of my calls. Squeak! I don't care if he had a sore throat. It's a privilege to be on Clyde's show. There are A-listers begging to be on. Squeak, squeak! Shut I am so- You do not get to disrespect the spot like that! I will have your head on a pike! Come on. Be nice to Spot. I just hate dealing with him. He's annoying. Squeak! Okay, I get it. He was sick. I'm glad he's feeling better now because finding another guest at the last minute would have sucked. Yeah. Too bad my little sister couldn't be here to see you. She was supposed to come tonight, but then she got grounded. Tell her I said hi. Now I got a better idea. And it's one way you can make up for missing my calls. We should take a picture together. I would do it now, but my Polaroid camera is in Clyde's office. I left it on top of his desk. Huh. Oh my god, my sister will be pissed as hell. Can you decide to Polaroid too? Can you write something funny like, Sorry you couldn't make it, me and your sister had so much fun. XOXO- -X -O <laughs> In one way! Uh... Gotta be honest, I'm not really into your music. She likes music she can groove to. Yeah, you need to make a dance song. I could. As for you, Clyde. Get your butt moving. You're never on time for your meetings. Yeah, don't worry your pretty little head off. Screw it back on if it does. <laughs> I have a hot cup of coffee waiting for you, too. Don't let it get cold. Can you add two tablespoons of cream and four teaspoons of sugar to it? Is that all? If you could get me a biscotti, that would make my day. You ate the last one yesterday. I did, didn't I? Tell an intern or a crafty uh, to pick one up from the convenience store across the street. Can you get me something to eat, too, like a bag of chips? Squeak! I'm not getting you a soda, Spot. I'll get something for Fennel because he's cool, but that's it. I'm not a waitress. You still have to pay me back though, kid. Okay. I'll see what I can do about his biscotti situation too. Excellent! Good luck! You too, babe. Huh. Isn't she hot? Yeah. yeah I know, right? She's not as hot as my other segment producer, but she's pretty damn close. Uh-huh. 
Why do you have two segment producers? God, I had to get rid of my other one back in December. Point is, day is new. Squeak. Yeah, Clara was my old segment producer. Despite our differences, I do miss seeing her around the studio. Squeak. Uh, I didn't fire her because we broke up. She just wasn't a good fit for my team, and I realized that after we broke. <laughs> die, die, die! I'm sorry. I always wish her the best. She was a sweet girl with a bright future ahead of her. I, I like the more I find out about the client, the less I like him. He is. Oh my god. I am on Fennel's side for this. Jesus. It's what my father always told me. Never trust a woman. You'll be sorry if you do. Or was that from a Tex Williams song? Oh, dad would ever think that. I'm not a sexist. I love women. He is so freaking. Oh. Wait. She was? Huh? He said she was a sweet girl. I misspoked. That, that, what, that was on purpose! No, I misspoked. It wasn't on purpose. Also, wait, it, I'm sorry, I wonder. Is, is, is Fennel, okay, is Fennel trans mask? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm curious about that. You caught me red-handed, Fennel. No way, he's telling the truth. <laughs> You got Moxie. I respect that about you. Moxie? Yeah, Moxie. like the soda. That's the fennel I like. That's the fennel I want. I want the confident brash of you, fennel, on the stage. I want. I want fennel to ask me if he can kick my teeth in. That's the fennel I want. I want that fennel on my stage. I want him on my stage. I'm guessing Trent's mask. Like, that. that's my guess. But I'll say no. You can't kick my teeth in. Because this is my show, and you'll do what I say! To an extent, there's still guidelines yet to follow. Okay, cool. Uh, don't you have a meeting to go to? Yeah, I get it. You need time away from silly old Clyde. I won't waste any more of your time. He's still bleeding! I'll catch you when Spot around. Yep, see ya. Before I go, do you need anything else? Is that everything? Uh... Your nose is bleeding. It's fine. Uh, my nose bleeds all the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why is he giving me those eyes like god oh my god i don't think he's okay see ya i hate clyde i am more than anything else in this godforsaken world you're an atheist not anymore god exists and he made clyde to screw with me that's the only way i can logically explain all of this I hate Clyde. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. Huh. Hate's such a strong word. I don't think it's strong enough. Wah! Ew. Did you hurt your head? No, I'm okay. Uh, it's all Clyde's fault. Yeah, I should hate write a song about him. I'll call it Clyde the Colossal Cup. Be nice! Ah, uh, be nice. How? I haven't even performed yet. I feel exhausted mentally and physically. I think I'm ready to get up now. I don't know. I guess I see your point, but Clyde was nice to me. To you? No, really. He's nice, nice. And I was waiting for you guys to come back. He stopped by. I gave him the hat and sweater that I crocheted. Oh, I feel so warm and fuzzy. I'll wear this when I go for holidays. Austin can get cold. Wow, I wasn't expecting you to like my gift. Can't, don't be so hard on yourself. Ah, oh, what's your name again? Bailey Abigarado. Bailey Abigarado. I have a question for you. Did you make this out of real wool? Yeah, I don't like using acrylic or polyester. Oh, you're so sustainable. Now I can feel good while looking good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's one way to look at it. I'd love to commission something like this for my two favorite co-workers. One of my writers has anemia and I have to cuddle him and make him tea whenever he gets cold. Oh my. Do you have a business card? Or two? Or three? Yeah, hang on. Uh, let me get that for you. Thank you, Bailey. <laughs> no, thank you. Clyde is so creepy. What the heck? You're so talented, Bailey. Then he went on his big rant about the Yankees. Christ. I didn't know you could get that passionate about a baseball team. Actually, I think it might hate the Yankees more than it loves the Red Sox. Isn't that funny? He's a huge Red Sox fan, by the way. 
I know, unfortunately. Maybe you're seeing something I'm not seeing. Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know, I just like to think people have good intentions. Speaking of presents and Clyde, he got us some stuff too. He gave me champagne and perfume. Is it sealed? Yeah, it's sealed. And he also gave you a couple of books. What are they about? One of them is a picture book about famous guitar players across the world. I guess that's cool. What about the other one? I'm not sure. Clyde didn't answer any of my questions about it. Huh. Here, look at it for yourself. Summoning the introduction to demonomic the what the Did he say what it's about? No, he dropped off the picture book. The book was here when I got here. Maybe one of his lackeys dropped it off. Lackeys? Yeah, lackeys. I saw his segment producer earlier. She's a babe. I think her and Clyde are together. Oh. You're hot too, Bailey. Heh, <laughs> thanks. Uh. What do you think? Is is this supposed to be a gag gift? It's what I thought too. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Who knows if demons are real or not? They are. Eh, maybe spirits, but not demons. You kind of remind me of a spirit, Bailey. A spirit? Kijimuna. They have thick red hair, big eyes, they love peace, and they hate fart jokes. My neighbors in Waipahu used to tell me stories about them. Oh, that's funny! Bah. I don't get it. I don't understand what that book is supposed to mean. It's never really big on theory or philosophy. What an awful present. Oh, so I noticed that they're- Oh, is that a poster of Clyde and this cutout of Clyde over there? What the heck? There's a picture of Clyde just staring at us! <sighs> maybe he thinks I'm going to perform a ritual live on stage or something. Or maybe I'm overthinking this. And I feel like we should probably get Bailey to like hide this out somewhere. I think it would feel better if you got your mind off of Clyde, even if it's for a minute. I read a quote somewhere that said, Hatred is a wasted energy. You should put that energy elsewhere. Somewhere positive. Yeah, I should put more energy into doing well tonight. There you go, and I'll be here if you need anything. We can even figure out the book together if you want. Man. I need to go do something special for you after this is over. Yeah, I've done nothing but drag you down for the past few days. Months, ever since we met, really. Thank you, but you don't have to pay me back. But you brushed my hair when I got up this afternoon. Because I wanted to. I like helping out and doing things for others. I would love to pamper myself someday. I do spend a lot of time sitting in that musty van crocheting and sewing, but I want to do something real nice. <sighs> it's musky, not musty. Heh. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's probably Clyde. Son of a- Spot, open the door and tell him to piss off! Squeak! Fine, I'll do it myself. Who is it? I said, who is it? Hey! We're sorry! We're so sorry! Goodness gracious. We're sorry, guys! We thought this was, a uh, Lost and found! Yeah, we both thought this was a lost and found! I have a feeling this is- Oh god, I should've listened to Spot! Frick! It's not. Fennel, is that your girlfriend? Yep. And I'm her boyfriend. Oh my gosh! You're Fennel's girlfriend, cool! So you and you are really did break up. Wow, I thought that was fake! It's not. I'm dating Bailey now. Yeah, and I'm Bailey Abigarado. Oh, oh my gosh, Bailey Abigarado! You're so pretty! Love your outfit too! Really? You, you like my outfit? Yes, I think it's pretty too! Thanks, you too. She called me pretty, I'm going to cry. Your friend is pretty too. Ah, oh, shucks. Aren't they your friends, Fennel? I ran into them in the hallway earlier. This is Ren. Hello. Princess. <laughs> They're lost. We sure ought. I, uh, I should have listened to Spot. I should have freaking listened to Spot. I don't even know how I got here. Me either. I'm so lost. Hee <laughs> hee. Would it be okay if we hang out here for a while? You are very bold to ask that. Thank you very much. Our other friend is outside. She's in line. She said, and I quote, if we, even if we made it inside, saw and met Fennel, it, would, it wouldn't be worth it because I don't want to get caught trespassing. She has a point. I don't want you to get hurt either. Oh, and unquote. I almost forgot to unquote. Unquote. So far, so good. I just really want to see Fennel. Um, he's got me through some pretty gnarly stuff, and he means a lot to me. 
You can vouch for us, right? If me and Princess get caught? I don't know who you are. I'm Ren Nevermore, and this is my friend, Princess Harlow. And I'm Princess, this is my friend, Ren Nevermore. I know your names, but that's not... Oh, oh, we can get to know each other. We're from Palmdale. Oh gosh, it's a long drive. No way, Ren drives super fast, so it only took us like... Wait a minute, to get... I am concerned! I don't fear anything. Did you take the highway? No, why? She's probably scared of the highway jacker. Highway hijacker? He changes his name every day. I don't even know what it is now, to be fair. He needs to be careful. What if your car breaks down? My gosh, no! Ren's a mechanic, so we're fine. He will never find us on the side of the road. Besides, I know self-defense. We're fine. It's wonderful, but you should still take this seriously. I'm just gonna squeak and sneak away. Shh. We're fine! Me and my friends aren't the killer types anyway. I didn't even know this killer had a type. Oh, it's been reported that three of the victims have been blonde so far. Who knows, the next victim could be a redhead. That is... Wow. Wow, I should really listen to Spot. Like, Ren is a butthole. Bailey? Don't joke about that, please. You know, like, my hairs die for a reason. <laughs> Like, I think someone said that the killer was, like, blonde, too. Did you know that? And how do you know that? I'm in a club with a group of girls who are really into the case. We're called the Sleuthy Slu- <laughs> We're called a what? I have no part in that. Princess just gave me the info after her club meetings. Don't worry, I'll still give you credit if he gets caught. Then we can dye our hair blonde afterwards. That's such a good idea! Please stop. If you don't, I'll have to kick you out. I I'm with Bailey on this! Innocent people died. How can you find that funny? Right on. My bad. I have a dark sense of humor. It's okay. Please don't do it again. I won't. I know this is really hard for you, and I know this is really hard for Fennel, too. I'm bored. I'm so bored. Bored. I think I'll order pancakes and a donut at the diner. A whole dozen. I'll wash it down with black coffee. I haven't had black coffee in ages. I can drink that with a cigarette. Coffee and cigarettes. Oh, I can already taste it. Uh, it makes my brain go happy. That uh, caution, cigarette smoking can be hazardous to your health. <laughs> happy brain. Oh, there's so much on the line. If everything goes wrong, I could always quit and leave the spotlight forever. I could renounce my U.S. citizenship and tell down in Tiden. Collect sand stars. Serenade the stars. Ride my bike. Eat sata and andagi, I drink coffee, smoke cigarettes. I can do whatever I want. Away from people. Old and alone. Happy. Wouldn't that be silly, Fennel? Right, Fennel? Huh? A crocheted biker jacket. I want one! I guess that's silly for sure. Maybe. I don't know. Hey, uh, Red, Princess, it was nice meeting you two, but I need to get going. Okay, I'll go with you. No, I need this time for myself. I need to clear my mind. It's nice to finally have some alone time. I feel so much better now. I held that in for too long. Am I really going to allow myself to give up that easily? Tidon's always a... Tidon's always a plane ticket away, but... Everyone's depending on me. Even stupid Clyde. This sucks! Ugh. What's wrong with me? Don't get emotional, idiot. I'm not weak. I gotta get through tonight. I have to. I can save my family and Bailey from the headaches. I wish I had a cigarette. Huh? Who's that? What? What am I looking at? Fennel, Fennel, Fennel. What are you doing? That I'm totally staring through the door. Uh, what are you doing? Ow, that hurt. Good. It's too bad I didn't knock you out. Sorry, my bad. Whatever. How were you doing peeping on me? Look, you got it wrong. I saw that you were about to come out the stall and... Wait, are you crying? I'm not crying. I'm gonna make you cry. Oh, no, don't do that. Anything about that. Being serious. Gonna make you cry, Clyde. Be serious, too. Don't make me cry. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kick in your teeth. Goodness, so that's where we're jumping into. 
Okay, I'll give you a reason. I just got my teeth white. You piece of pill, Clyde! <laughs> Look at how beautiful and shiny they are. These pearly whites are not cheap. Ha uh ha. -huh. Not cheap. Great. I'll sell all 32 of them and pay off my debt. De Listen, I love doing charity, but I can't contribute to your fund today. Sorry. How about I give you another reason that doesn't involve money? What's that? <clears throat> oh, my throat hurts. I think I caught a cold, I don't, I don't know if I can talk anymore. Clyde, get up and tell me. I don't know. Can you at least say please? <coughs> I don't appreciate being bossed around. Get up. Now. Fine. I see how it is. Thank you for not kicking my teeth in. That was so kind of you. I don't care. Do you care about anything? Hurry the f- <sighs> Okay, I'll cut to the chase. So I found this note during my important writers meeting. Actually, one of my writers found it underneath the table. I have no idea what it means. I figured you might. Clyde, uh, Clydesdale. What? That's a cipher. I, I can't decipher it right now, but oh, what? I thought maybe you did as a prank to get back at me. Did you? Fennel? Fennel, please. Did you do this? No. And who did it? My staff didn't do it. Huh. This might not seem related, but you gave me two books, right? Are you talking about the present I left in your room? Yeah. I only gave you one book. Uh, the one about the famous guitar play. What? I thought it would inspire a conversation for our show tonight. Daily, Bailey taught me you brought two. I only brought you one, Fennel. Maybe I'm misremembering what she said. That's okay. Brain farts happen. So, what does that other book have to do with anything? I don't know. Huh. At least you know when you kick my teeth in. Ah, uh, no. Are you suggesting your book and my letter are related somehow? It's not my book. I didn't ask for it, and I don't want it. But yes, I'm suggesting that. That wasn't so hard to say, was it? Tell me what this book is about. I'm curious. I skimmed through it, so I don't know much. It looked like a guide on how to summon demons. Really? Yeah, it's a dumb buck. I don't even believe in that crap. The demons are the summoning demon part. None of it is real. Demons, hell, angels, heaven. At the very least, there are probably spirits and souls. I don't know. I'm apathetic about that kind of stuff. That's interesting. I guess. And you? What do you believe in? I'm Catholic. I was baptized when I was a baby. I received my first Holy Communion when I was seven, and I had confirmation when I was 11 or 12. You're like Bailey. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, uh, so, uh... Let's get back on track. About your book. Not mine. Whoops. I must have left it behind to taunt you. That must hurt. None of this would have happened if you didn't lie to me up to... Uh, none of this would have happened if you didn't lie about me to the entire world. You started this. Let's be fair. I covered you in a very favorable way. So favorable that I had people thinking I was in cahoots with you. I do remember. I do take blame for taking things too far. Should have never crossed the line. You don't have to forgive me, but I'm truly sorry. Uh, so why should I forgive you? Shove it. Uh, but why should I forgive you? I have every reason not to accept your apology. I said you didn't have to, but I produced it as an executive's breathing down my neck too. I'm not the one pulling the strings around here. You didn't have to. You could have quit. Fennel, it's not that easy. You should know that you can't just quit. And? That just means you're just as complicit. No, it means that I have a really bad contract. It can't be as bad as mine. Right? Huh. Whatever. Anywho, uh... I'm sure we can get security to play the tapes back and see who left the items in our rooms. Bro, is there a camera in my room? Ah, just in the hallways. I don't want to breach anyone's privacy. If it ends up being someone team, I'll make sure that they're terminated from pos their position right away. That's Clydesdale guarantee. Okay. We'd like to compare the book to your letter too. Maybe we can figure out what it means together. We... together? What do you mean by that? Yes, we! We're teaming up! No, we aren't! Fennel, wait! What? Why can't we team up? Because after tonight, I'm done with you. I don't want to speak or see you ever again. I don't even want to think about you. Hurry up before I lock you out of my green room. He didn't even wash his hands. Oh, I'm on track of getting a good end. 
What? Anyway, that's the end of intro demo for now. Like, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys want to play this for yourself, the link to the game will be in the description below. I absolutely can't wait for the full game to be released. There is so much freaking charm to this goddamn game. I love the aesthetics. I love the writing. Like, holy hell, like, it is so well put together. I I can't wait for the full game to be released. And apparently, we're down, we're down the right track. We are going down a good ending route. So, hey, um, I'm excited to see what happens to the end. And hopefully, we can uncover what exactly is going on with everyone. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.